What's up, yo? This is Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. Many baddies have masculine energy. Many baddies. And you know what? This is kind of a follow-up to the video I did the other day about how the one way a man can uh, really deal with women with masculine energy. And... There's three, uh, well, one, the title of this thing, like about baddies, that's, that'll be the last part I get into. But I wanted to follow up on that because, you know, first of all, because a lot of times, some, a lot of times you get some dudes and I, I get to say on a lot of my videos, one thing I'm going to say on my videos, watch the whole thing. Don't assume. I mean, I get people assuming I'm going to talk about something, even saying it, I'm like, listen to the video. You know, listen to the video first and then, you know, or assume I'm not or listen to a little bit and think I say, well, what about this? I was like, well, if you listen to it fully, you would have heard the answer. Right. But the main thing with that video was just be a man. Be a man, because somebody even asked, well, what about feminine women? If you're a man, you naturally attract feminine women. But there's a little issue with that. There's a little issue. And not on the feminine woman's part either. It's on the men's part and the culture that we live in now, right? So, anyway. So, that's the first thing. The first thing is, the whole thing is just, if you stand up as a man, shoot, the women going to respond, whether they masculine, feminine, whatever they are. Hell, even weaker men are going to fall in line. Even weaker men are going to fall in line. They ain't going to want. They ain't going to want to test you. So you know, that's the first thing. The first thing. Second thing is, yeah, it's easy to say. It is very, very easy to say. Oh, I'm just not going to deal with masculine women. Um, this ain't even about relationships, just the society we live in. Um, there's a lot of uh, masculine masculine energy women out here. Just the society, just the culture we live in. Uh, my mentor, Master Yao, would call them Amazon women. They just out here. It's not even dealing with them sexually. Like, and I'll give you uh, why I even thought about doing this again. So, yesterday... Uh, you know, I got my therapeutic massage. I do that once a month. She she, she had a brother snoring. I, I was like, oh, God. Oh, man. I mean, I was I couldn't even do much afterwards. Do much. Now, I did stop uh, at a local store where I used to work. And so, so you know, I, was, I always stop in, maybe look for something, talk to some uh, buddies there and stuff. And that's just a regular thing. But and I was in one section, and I saw this fine woman, fine, very attractive. And she had this dude with her, right? Now, if I saw her by herself, you know, Ron would be like, hey, with a holler. Because she looked maybe, she looked maybe 30s, late 40s. Well, uh, 30s to 40s. It was hard to tell. I was too busy looking at the ass. So, I'm sitting there. Let me see something. Hmm. Let me go this way. So, all right. So I saw her. She had this dude with her, but she was leading the man. And you could just tell with their body language and their energy that, you know, she was the boss. Okay. That made me think about when I was actually working at this door. Um, and this was over a decade ago. And I thought about this woman that worked there. And this kind of segues into matches up with the title. Of the uh, of this car video, and she was uh, she was a manager. She was a manager, pretty high up, pretty high up at the store as well, right? And very physically attractive, very physically attractive. Let's see. At the time, she had to be at the time. I don't know, late thirties or forties herself. It's hard to tell, but she was one of those types. She could probably hit her sixties as long as she keeps uh, herself up. She'll still draw attention, like real hot, like just natural roll out of bed type of beauty and whatnot, just on a physical basis, right? But me and her, 
me and her were in human resources twice. And that for no sexual harassment or anything like that. Me and her were butted heads twice. Like even to the point, could have got fired one time. Because uh, let's just say I said some things that could have been construed as a threat. Uh, like a bodily threat. And... You know, and, um, but we were able to, it was the situation was able to be diffused, but she had a very young energy, masculine energy, very controlling energy. And like I said, twice, cause I wasn't putting up with it. The thing is, right, she had that, she had that energy. Like one time she actually came in and started yelling me, yelling at me for something. And I wasn't playing that shit. Like the whole store heard it. But she had that very young energy. And, you know, I thought about that, but then I thought about, you know, this talk, you know, some guys on the first video, right? Some guys on the first video who, um, you know, they were like, yeah, they say, oh, I just won't deal with it. I don't deal with it. I don't leave them alone and stuff, right? Okay. But here's the thing, though. I mean, most men want that bad. Most men be uh, getting on IG, getting in the DMs of a bad. Here's the issue. Many of them got masculine energy. See, one of the things is now when somebody else talking about masculine energy, you know, somebody with less experience would assume I'm talking about maybe some like some stud, like, you know, they lesbian type, you know, they dressing all mannish and all, all of that. Those are obvious, but some of the women with the most, many women with the most masculine energy does not look like that. They look very feminine on the surface. That's a significant thing. In fact, it was interesting because today, and I'll probably do it next week. I was going to have, I was going to talk about something with sex workers. I'll do it next week on a regular couch video, but um, well, a couple weeks. I'll record it next week. It'll be in a couple weeks. But um, you know, because I was the thing with sex workers, many of them actually had masculine energy. Many of them have masculine energy, and indeed, many of them actually get into sex work because they can control men. And indeed, I've said before, sex workers, they have a disdain for men. They have a disdain, and they will they will actually get into it and actually not just get money from a man, but act to actually destroy one. Because they, they got that energy. They got that, they got that young energy and everything. And when you talk about a lot of baddies... Not all of them, thankfully. I'm saying thankfully. But a significant number. I would say, not even a small percentage, I would say a slight majority, slight majority, got masculine energy. Okay. And that's cool. But then you get some guys saying, well, I wouldn't deal with that one. Okay, but when I see the guy, I see the women that these guys be going for, a lot of times, I trust me, there's some tales about them. I can say, no, she got that young. She got that young. In fact, I was talking with a buddy in the gym who, you know, he checks out these videos. I told him I was going to do this. And he had said, yeah, you can run. You can run. That woman look all good. She fine. But you start talking with us like talking with one of the fellas. See, and like I said, my mentor, and he goes deeper into it, Master Yao, he called them Amazon women. In fact, I talk about that in an on-demand video. I'll put a link for it in the description box. Amazon women and shadow men. And there's been a profound increase in them uh, since the 1940s. Since the 1940s. And man, that's another conversation why that happened. But they just had that young energy, young. They, they And it's aggressive. It's not even about the physicality, but it's about... The energy, their energy. As one dude said about his very masculine energy wife, she pees standing up. You got a lot of women who will probably pee standing up. You know? 
In fact, that same woman in a seminar actually said, yeah, she had a big old dick. But, but if you saw her, very physically attractive. See, that's the thing with it. Yeah, you can say you want that feminine woman. Hey, you should want that feminine woman. Hell. In fact, being masculine will draw her to you. Simply doing that. But, but, at the same time, a lot of guys don't want that woman. For some one simple reason. Sometimes the most feminine women aren't the physically best looking. That's where the see, that's where the thing is. Because you know we unapologetic about wanting looks. We are unapologetic about wanting looks. And that's okay. But then some of the better looking women are straight up on some masculine shit. Like, I remember this one woman I, I met. Now, we first encountered each other on a, a particular, it was a, it was a particular website on the message board. And, you know, I don't hide my name, man. I mean, some of the shit she would say, trashy would talk and everything, you would think you were dealing with a bull dyke. And I don't even mean to insult bull dykes like that, but she was just coming raw, right? Just rough. Okay. I saw her in person. And I was like, what the fuck? Because she come off like just vicious, like hard, all that. You saw, I saw her in person. Man, she was the sweetest looking individual. Innocent. She looked innocent. Sweetest looking. But I knew what her energy was like. And see, she was uh, dealing with a friend of mine. And... Uh, I found out later, man, she did some foul stuff to him. And it was like, oh, man. And I've seen that so often. I've seen that so often. You see that baddie, and, you know, she, she like one of the fellas. But then you see that woman who might be more plain Jane, could stand to lose a few pounds. That The body ain't as tight, all of that. Be the most feminine, like, cooperative type of woman. But let's be real. How many guys want that? It's only a, I've only encountered a small percentage of women who will have both that beauty and that feminine energy. See, that's where the problem come in. That's where the problem come in. Yeah, you can, like a guy say he wants it, but first of all, you got you need to be masculine to really appeal to it. I'm going to get into that in a second because I really need to hammer that one home. I need to hammer that uh masculine man feminine woman thing at home all right but anyway the guys say they want that okay but you in the inbox of a woman who don't really have it or chasing her and all of that so shit being dominant being combative i mean just a woman being really combative combative ordinary like just just regular off of like dumb shit just being combative being aggressive, being bossy, all that shit is masculine energy. All that shit is masculine energy. And, but see, some guys are chasing her because she, she look good. She got big breasts. She got a big old butt. And in fact, I'm going to be real with y'all. When you get a sexually aggressive woman, like a lot of guys, you know, that woman a little sexually aggressive, seem like she a little easy easier, a little bit she, she might seemingly be uh, receptive but she's really aggressive about it when you get that woman who's sexually aggressive, she got a little bit more masculine energy, and when I say sexually aggressive you know, take will walk up to you and be like, hey, you's a big fine man, won't you stick that thing in? you know, even in how they dress, some of these women who are dressed extra provocatively you'd be surprised You'd be surprised. You start talking with them. It's like, damn. Shit. It's like you talking with one of the fellas. That's some real talk if you actually deal with them. Meanwhile, the one who's actually... A woman who's actually, like, truly receptive, truly in a femininity. She's going to be more passive. She's going to be more passive in her demeanor and everything. But she's not going to ratchet up her sex appeal. Now, she'll try to look as, you know, good and everything, but see, when you understand that energy and everything, when you understand that energy, you realize 
it, it might not be she might not be as tight in the body and like i said she could be plain looking but her demeanor and indeed that's why sometimes you will see a guy and he look like he can do better he's like why she with you know why he why he with her he could do better get somebody find it no she was feminine and see that's the thing too now some guys are saying of course yeah they want a feminine woman okay you got to be a masculine man it's the same thing as when, you know, men say, well, I, I, I want the woman, she need to be submissive. Okay, feminine women are very submissive. But then you got to be a man about it. Because a feminine woman, first of all, if the man, they're not going to have, they're not going to, one thing about truly feminine women, truly feminine women, you got to be a take charge man. Ain't no ifs, ands, and buts. You got to be that man who know what he doing. You got to be that man who walking with authority and power. Like if you want a woman to submit to you, you have to be that man who can lead and that be responsible. Because you're responsible. You're leading that woman. You're directing that woman. She's following your direction. She wants to chill. You know? You, you got to be that type who's going to say, hey, it, it could be just little things like, walking down the street you walking closest to the uh curb you know you driving everywhere you know if somebody like disrespect her she got to feel protected with you you know you got to she got to feel like you active you going out doing stuff now when she in her feminine and everything she's actually not just so much as, uh, it's not even about the pleasure, but she's going to be supportive. She's going to be nurturing and stuff. But in order for her to truly, if a truly feminine woman, in order to be truly attracted to a man, he has to be masculine. If anything less, she's not going to like it. She's not going to feel anything. Even, I'm going to hit y'all with something. Even if she look at him and say, okay, he's physically attractive. She can look at him and say, you know what, he got good bone structure. Yeah, he's attractive. In fact, that's why a lot of dudes who will say, well, everybody say I'm handsome, but I'm getting these, like, masculine women and stuff. Oh, well, you don't have that, uh, well, say they handsome, yeah, say they handsome, but getting a masculine woman. That's because the man ain't fully in his masculine. Like, I'm going to tell you something now, too. Let me hit y'all with some other shit. Let me hit y'all with some other shit because... You know, of course, you know, your facial features matter and everything. Looking good matters, but everything matters, including being masculine. Here's something else. If you're trying to rely as a man just on your looks, think, oh, I'm just going to sit here. I'm just, I'm just going to, I want the woman to come to me. You will get them to come to you. If you rely just on your looks, your facial features, even, even your body just to come to you, you will get them. They will tend to be more assertive and masculine type of women. Now, it's a great, great for them to think you look good, but you got to be assertive. Like, here's the thing. Like, you know, just did the video talking about uh, being chosen and everything with uh, Pimp God. And a link for it is in the description box. Uh, you know, the on-demand video. Definitely check it out. But... When women, like, give you those signals, it's in a passive way. A truly feminine woman will just look at you and at best put herself in a position to be approached, but you still got to do something. But you got some guys, they want to they wanna rely just on their looks and everything, just on their looks and thinking that's it. And, yeah, you're going to get some women. You're going to get those young, doubt women, those masculine energy women. And they might look good in everything, and you might think you're doing something, but... You want to know after a while, it's not good for you. Because if a man is in the presence of a masculine woman too much, and he's not bringing out his masculinity to suppress her masculinity and bring out her femininity, what's going to happen, what's actually going to happen is he's going to find, he's going to find his energy is being sapped away. He's not going to be as aggressive. And then he's, he's going to be walking... He's going to be walking a couple paces behind her. And you get a lot of men. They just had that energy. Like I saw that energy with uh, that couple yesterday. And I said she was the more, you could tell she was the more masculine energy, more assertive in charge. He just looked weak. He looked weak. Like the energy he gave, somebody could have probably just went up, walked up to her 
and shot that shot at her. And he might not have did anything. That's how deep it is. That's how deep it is. And that's the thing. So you got to ask yourself, I'm going to tell you what. And in fact, uh, shout out Pimp God again. We were discussing that uh, like off camera. Um, you know, like how some of the sexiest women, the sexiest women aren't always what the culture considers the best looking. And the reason why, because they, the main reason is they in their femininity. They in their magnetism. They can draw the man to them. And it's not always about their physical appearance. Now, if they got that, hey, that's it. That's a double bonus. But usually if you look at some of the sexiest women, you know, they ain't going to always look the best, decent, but they receptive. They receptive to masculine energy. That's the important thing. But like I said, a lot of guys want the bad and then wondering why they're catching hell. I've known too many. I've known too many. You'll see. Just let's just be real. There's plenty of women out here. They run into men. The man the man's walking behind them. You can tell when they're together, that woman's in charge. But you look at her physically, she's more attractive. Now, this ain't saying don't go for an attractive woman, but make sure she has that feminine energy too. And that's tough. Look, I'm just, let's just be real. Let's keep it a buck. That's tough to have a baddie who's truly in her feminine energy. That is tough as hell. If a man can get that, he's doing something. And in order to get it, he does have to be masculine. That's why, some, and honestly, sometimes that's why you will see, like, other guys will look at another man and say, why she want him? He ain't, he ain't that. He, he don't look good. First of all, they, look, let's just be real. Let's keep it a buck. A man can't look at a man and see what a woman sees. Really, you can't. You can't judge his physical, his looks, his actual bone structure compared to what else he's bringing. Now, you might see that truly feminine baddie with that, that guy. He might be a little overweight. He might not be all tall. But, and I'll say this, the strong likelihood is... If she's truly feminine, that dude's he he got a rough edge to him. Shoot. In fact, if you really look at the men who really get the women out, really get the women, not the ones in like not some fashion model. They always will have the men who got multiple women, they they always gonna have that masculine edge. They're gonna have that edge, how they carry themselves, how they walk, all of that. They always gonna have that. Because you got to have that. They want a little bit of roughness because it's more masculine to a woman. That energy and everything. And that was the whole point what I was talking about. Just bring that energy out. And then even when you're not trying to get with a woman, if you're dealing with a woman on a job, you're dealing with them for business. If you're coming from a masculine, energetic state, you're coming from a masculine posture, even the women are going to be more cooperative. Just, just in everyday life, because that's how that's how prevalent it is. And like I said, I ain't going. It's not even totally on the women because uh, you got too many men. They not bringing up their energy, so you know the women bringing up this. They bringing up that energy for survival. And it, you know, like I said, I always say that's part of my mission: getting men to just to stand the fuck up. And I mean that shit. Almost got my ass killed standing up for another man. Handling his business. That he should have been handling. Saving the life of his child. So that's the thing, though. That's the thing. And I, I mean, you know. I already know some people going to, they, they haven't experienced that. Well, one, they really haven't dealt with any baddies. But I want y'all to think about, it, like, real baddies that you probably know. And if you know known 10 of them, if you know known at least 10, and I know there's some dudes haven't known at least two, but if you know at least 10, I guarantee some of them had that energy, had that masculine energy. Like I said, if they had that feminine energy, man, psh, in fact, a, a baddie with feminine energy almost always has a man because dudes going to be lined the fuck up. <laughs> dudes will be lined up for her. Shoot. 
Dude, that's that's one of those. Even you almost you got to be or in orbit of her. You get some baddies with that feminine energy. Because first of all, a baddie with feminine energy, she gonna draw men to her. Men gonna be happily in her orbit. They they be checking with her every day. Say, hey, how's it going with your man? Oh, he messed up. Oh no. Well, why don't we talk about it? <laughs> yeah. So you almost gotta be there. But seriously, in fact, that's why you get a lot of women. Uh, Physically, very physically attractive women. Very physically attractive women, beautiful women. You know, reality stars who are in their 40s talking about they having trouble finding a man. They got their masculine energy. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, they're going to get some, hey, they'll get some D. They'll get some D and, you know, if they luck up, they'll find some sucker thinking he's getting some. I do mean sucker. But shoot, a real man. <laughs> A masculine man, he gonna be turned off even if he find her physically attractive. Cause we look, let me go deep. Cause people who really know me know, shoot, I can I can go deep. I can go metaphysic. You gotta have that polarity. Gotta have that polarity. So if you gotta feel that woman, you gotta feel that woman. And if you around that woman, and if you and your masculine, you might look at the woman and say, you know what, she is physically attractive, but. Your joint gonna be like, yeah, okay. And then you get around that feminine woman don't look on the same level. Your joint be like, oh yeah. And you trying to figure out, damn, how is this? She's more feminine. So anyway, that's the deal, yo. Yeah. God, this weather, my voice getting a little hoarse. Gotta get something to drink. Anyway, um, that's all I got for today, yo. All right. Y'all yeah, have a good weekend. Y'all know I don't do shit on weekends. I don't do car videos on weekends. So, uh, Sovereign Saturday tomorrow. And I think, uh, y'all gotta excuse me, it's either tomorrow or a video I recorded for next week. I think it's the next week one. I forgot to say Sovereign Saturday. So, f please forgive me for whatever one. And then, um, you know, my regular Sunday message. So, anyway, I'll see y'all on Monday. All right. Yeah, I gotta get something for my throat real quick. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all. Peace and blessings.